What's up, Danger? Welcome to uh, another figure review. That's a lot of toys. They weren't all in the thumbnail. No, they're not, but I have the complete wave, so expect a complete review of this Stiltman Builder Figure series. Um, I got this through Kapow Toys. I pre-ordered it back in November uh, and had a little cash to spend, and uh, I'm glad I did, because if you pre-order entire Builder Figure waves of Marvel Legends from them, it's always a slight discount. It costs roughly the same amount to buy it from them as a complete wave on pre-order as it would to buy um, five of the figures elsewhere. So, yeah, if you're after all six to get the seventh builder figure and you don't mind buying an entire wave pre-ordering it, then Kapow Toys, link is in the description. Not sponsored, but hey, if they'd like to. Um, the main draw for this wave is the four figures based on Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, one of the other figures is is the one that I was actually the most excited about getting because I can't quite believe that it exists. But today we're going to review the most popular figure from this wave. I don't mean in terms of the character, I mean in terms of this one's harder to buy. As of this recording, early March, uh, this figure is already selling out or being overcharged for on sites like Amazon um, because people are buying it in bulk. If you want to really make some money as a toy manufacturer and you've got a license like this, make an army builder figure once in a while. The Hand. We have a member of the Ninja Clan featured heavily in comics like Daredevil and Iron Fist. Um, you know, the uh, Shadowland occupants of New York, the guys who resurrected Wolverine and turned him into a weapon to kill everyone else. Bane of Electra's life, the hand. Um, one of the figures in this wave is a hand ninja. Skilled in martial arts and espionage, the ninjas of the hand are a force to be reckoned with. The uh, hand ninja comes with the right leg and left leg of Stiltman, which you can see packed away, taking up most of the box. But we have a pretty decent figure here with a couple of accessories, a couple of spare hands. And the glaring green eyes of a resurrected or possessed member of the uh, the cabal itself. So, we'll get to the rest later. Today, we're taking a look at the Hand Ninja. Look at that scary boy. But before we get to the Hand Ninja, let's take a quick look at Stiltman. Or at least, what becomes of Stiltman in this set. We have right leg? Maybe? And left leg? Maybe? I can't see any insignia to say which one is which. They're pretty much identical pieces as is. They sort of, down the front, have the seam in the plastic. Um, and they have leg holes. There's no articulation. Which I, I'm kind of glad for, because when you build Stiltman eventually, if they are indeed doing what it seems they're doing, which is just packaging him in elongated leg form, you kind of don't want them to be articulated, because if they are, they would snap, and the weight of the figure up top would make him constantly collapse. So... Fair enough. But what's kind of nice is this also comes packaged with a base for Stiltman, which has four different peg holes, two in the middle, two at the side. I'm assuming to give us the option to have him stood like straight up or have him stood at a gate so you could have him as though he's walking. That's a nice touch. That's the bit of Stiltman that comes with the hand ninja figure. So there we go. Uh, before we get into the hand figure himself, let's have a look at his accessories. Uh, he comes packaged with his two weapon clasping hands. As you can see there, they're both shaped like this. This is the right hand. I currently have the left hand still uh, plugged into him. And he comes with a right and left grasping hand for more kind of dynamic ninja posing. Ooh, hello there. He also comes with two, correct me if I'm wrong, these are scythes, right? Tiny scythes. There's probably a different name for this, but he comes with two of these, which will be the thing I'm more likely display him holding, because they're very, you know, the hand specific. Very cool. Nice, simple paint job. The blades look metallic, so that's cool. Um, let's have a look at the ninja himself. Standard articulation, as you'd expect, in the ankles. Uh, there is a swivel at the top of the boot. Double joint at the knee, joint at the thigh. Crotch is a bit stiff, not too hampered by the rubber of the clothing, just the joints on mine were a little stiff. He seems to have a uh, Spider-Man classic style waist articulation down here 
a hinge, but it's just doesn't move very well. So it might just be that mine is stiff. Maybe it's because it's hampered by the sculpt. I don't know. Uh, his upper body is a very loose kind of... Ooh. And that seems to be key with this figure. They focused a lot more on flexibility, but the sculpt gets in the way of that. You kind of want your ninja figure to be flexible, but you also want it to be comics accurate, which is where there's a couple mistakes. So he has the old school Spider-Man kind of swiveled shoulders. You can have his arms further back or have them further forward. He has the you know, socket joint up there. He has the swivel at the top of the arms. He has double elbow joints, which is fine on the lower joint, but because of the sculpt, the upper joint on both sides barely can move. So that's kind of a waste. Uh, no wrist swivel, but that's because it's built into the hand. Both hands have like a little a dip. Um, head's an odd one. His neck feels very long. Like a little too long. And it's also quite a stiff joint on mine. So I've had to pop his head off and give it a flex. Um, having the hood be a separate piece that's just on the head is a great idea. Because it means you can, you know pose the head and everything, but it does also mean that there's this weird hood sat on top of the figure's head. Like, it, maybe it needed the plastic on the back of the neck to mimic the hood colour and the tunic colour a bit more so that it can look like it's one piece. I don't know. Uh, comes with a sword belt, very well sculpted, nice detail, very loose. So if you pop his head off or angle his arm right, you can take the sword um, belt off, should you want a more plain hand ninja. Couple nice features, he's got the ability to fade into the foreground he's got the which is actually quite handy for a ninja he's got the ninja toes the pointed toe which does make me wonder if at some point using sort of pieces like this we could get a superior spider-man version one sort of costume figure at some point that'd be quite cool um and the weapon's hand can also hold the sword which is again a nice piece in two simple colors looking fairly metallic especially when it catches the light uh, I really, really like the possessed eyes. It's a nice touch, um, considering the hand, of course, sometimes just resurrect their own number and bring them back to fight again. It's a lovely hue of green. Uh, let's 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 take a look at him in a more action-oriented stance. Whoosh! Look at this scary ninja boy. He looks pretty good. How am I going to have him posed? Well. Considering the sword belt uh, looks quite nice, I will probably have my hand ninja posed uh, with the sword in its holster. Uh, one of its size. Uh, also, something I've noticed actually while I was doing this is that the wrists on the weapon hands, this one dips forward and backward, and this one dips sort of downwards and upwards. So making the right hand more ideal for the sword. I'm probably going to replace one of the hands with a grasping hand to give him a bit more of a sneaking around corners thing, sigh in one hand, grasping hand, uh, outstretched in the other, but what a cool figure. I said at the beginning that these guys are selling out quite quickly, and it's because of the fact that it is the hand. Anyone who's a Daredevil fan or, or you know, Iron Fist fan or what have you, uh, picking up at least two of these. Uh, I won't be. Maybe I'll pick one up cheap when, uh, you know, inevitably people just uh, start buying the figures for the Builder figure and, and then selling off the individual figures online. Maybe I'll pick up another Hand Ninja on its own on eBay in the future, or heaven forbid, if Comic-Cons ever happen again, I'll pick one up so I can have a couple of Hand Ninjas. But I am very happy with this. What a cool minion. I can't wait to display him fighting, like, Daredevil or Spider-Man or someone on the shelf. Very cool. The Hand Ninja. What do you think? Are you going to pick him up? Have you got one already? Have you got an army of them? If so, how many did you buy? Let me know in the comments down below. Stick around. Soon I'll be reviewing the rest of the Stiltman Wave. Uh, next with the figure that I'm, I've been looking forward to the most because I, I just can't quite believe it exists. And I'm very happy that it does. Um, if you want to buy me a toy for me to review, I do have a wish list down below in the description. You're under no obligation, of course, but if you do pick up one from there, you get a shout out. Any personalised message you want me to read out, uh, you include with the purchase. I will do that. Uh, and of course, I'll look forward to reviewing the figure. In the meantime, look at him. So cool. Right. That's it for now. See you soon.